Hello, my loves. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, thank you for joining me. If you're old friends, OGs to the um, YouTube channel, welcome back. It feels really good to have you guys here. We have a pick a card message today that I was not expecting to do, but I felt something was coming. I felt something was lingering in the back of my mind, like just talking to me, just like, okay, this is what we got next, Jess. Prepare, prepare for another reading, save up your energy. So I've been keeping it pretty low key, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, just cause I felt like something was, you know, I was gonna be doing another reading pretty soon. I'm currently shuffling for these piles as we speak because I just was so excited to get started, to be quite honest with you. We are gonna be doing, um, the topic today is our guides give us a hint. You know what? Just give us a hint. Give us a clue. And I love it. The fact that's the topic that's coming through because I was making my coffee this morning, which you can't see it, but here's my mug. It says somebody loves you. I was making my coffee this morning and I was just at the final stages of like adding my, my honey and my creamer and spirit was like, this is the topic. And I was like, okay, like I'm intrigued. Like I have, I have to pick a pile. Like I need to know. So I do have three geodes here. I will be doing the teacup charms, which I haven't brought those out in a minute, but we'll be doing those today. And we're also going to kind of flip things and reverse things a little bit. I'm going to start with the Oracle first, and then I'm going to shuffle from the cards. And that is just so exciting for me. I'm a Virgo, so I don't like to deviate from my normal plan, and I typically don't like any type of change. <laughs> I like things to stay the same. So the fact that I'm excited about this, I, I'm sure there's going to be something good, and I just want to just dive right in. I just want to jump right in. So, of course, there's going to be three piles here. As you guys can see, we have three geodes. We have this geo pile. I don't like to call them piles, but this is the first geode. And this is going to be the second geode. And this is going to be the third geode. So take your time. Sit with it. I'm going to keep the camera like this so that maybe you can see some of the chicky chickies as they run past the window here. And also, you guys, let me know if you would like to do a ocean reading. I've been thinking and feeling about going to the ocean lately and doing a reading there and receiving some deep healing energies and bringing out my deep healing waters candle and just doing a whole reading by the water. But we shall see. Let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab the deck and uh, break into reading time. I will meet you at your geode slice. Okay, so if you chose door number one, these are your oracle. Like I said, we're going to start with the oracle first. My chickens are starting to come through. Um, I swear they, they know. They know when I do a reading, so you might see them here, especially cobweb. So we are going to start with the oracle first, as I was saying, and then we're going to do charmies, and then we're going to do some cardies. Spirit, give them a sign. Give them a tip. All right, so one thing that I really was feeling was Archangel Michael, who I have a whole ritual, like a the healing prayer on my website, if you ever need to connect with that. So we have lean on God and the angels for support. That's number one. We have self-respect. We have have confidence. And we have positive thoughts create positive results. So right away, clearly, this has a lot to do with internal self-belief, your belief in yourself. You're, I'm really getting a strong sense of you're ready I will say that as I, before I came to this, you know, to start shuffling for you guys, um, I did fill the, make sure that the fountain outside of my window, I have this big water fountain, which attracts all types of birds, right? I, I wanted to make sure that it was filled, right? And 
while I went to go fill up the, you know, grab my bucket, I was, I had this feeling of like gratitude for my bucket. <laughs> and I know that sounds so crazy, but it's something that I'm so grateful for. If it wasn't for that bucket, I would not be able to, okay, let's see if you can see this. There's a hawk, not a hawk, but there's a bunch of birds. Guys, please forgive the snotty nose on the window. That's Nova. I should just leave it like this so you guys can see. But um, if it wasn't for that bucket, I would not be able to do a lot of my yard hobbies. You know what I mean? Like from watering my chickens. That's what I call it. Watering my chickens, filling up the fountains, sometimes watering the, the larger tropical plants. Why am I saying this? Because I feel like... I feel like you're an essential, like I'm getting the words like essential worker, right? And sometimes if, or if you're not like an essential worker, you're an essential person in a lot of people's lives. If, it, it's, if it's not for you, then if it wasn't for you, then a lot of things wouldn't be able to get done. A lot of things wouldn't be able to get completed. Your hint right now from the universe is honestly to fill up your cup. I think that when you pour and you pour and you pour into other people's buckets or into other people's you're tending to all of these different things, right? You start to feel a sense of lack because all you are accustomed to is, do you see that butterfly? All you are becoming accustomed to is looking at an empty half-filled bucket because of how often you're pouring it into other people and ultimately, ultimately kind of neglecting yourself. Your hint from the universe right now from your guides is to fill your cup up. Some of you guys are, you, you know that you have a greater purpose and a greater destiny here on, on earth, on planet, on the planet. So you know that it's for your highest and greatest good and for the highest and greatest good of others in order to help, in order to be of service, right? But you can only be of service if you have things to give, if you have the energy to give. If you become depleted, then you are no longer going to be able to good, give with a, 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 f a full and happy heart. And when I see the word self-respect here, this is about spirit, the divine saying, listen, I created you or you were created with a purpose, with a destiny, right? And if you violate your body, if you violate your energy, if you violate your spirit, if you violate your heart, violate your mind by continuously being in a position of giving, 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 and not giving back to yourself. And this feels very self, self-serving right now, you guys. Some of, I don't know if this is about you. I, Spirit is saying, listen, the tip is don't wait for other people to pour into you. Pour into yourself first and foremost and lead them into the way to, to teach you or to treat you. Teach them how to treat you ultimately, Right? Um, so this is going to help you build your confidence up. This is going to help you to build your boldness up. This is going to help you to build your happiness up. You may be giving and being of service, but it might be coming from a place now where there's a little bit, uh, I just heard carrying resentment. So yeah, I'm also feeling like spirit. The hint is for you not to carry everything as far as your miracles, doors that are meant to open for you. Windows are meant to open for you. Don't be, you might be, you might have found and you might have discovered your personal power, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But as powerful as you are, spirit, your angels, your guides still wants you to go to them, talk to them, not just once in a blue moon or once a week or once a day, but consistently have that conversation Sorry, Cobweb's going to beat his wings and just start calling out. Yep, here we go. I get why they call, like, they came up with the word um, cocky. Because a rooster is so cocky. And the other word for a rooster is <laughs> the C word. I would say it. <laughs> but, you know, some people get offended by things like that. <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, yeah, let's go back. Um, yeah, dude, that's the vibe. All right, what else we have here? Fragment. Fragment, yeah. Some of you guys feel really fragmented, pulled in a bunch of different parts and different bunch of different pieces. And she, and also, I feel like you guys are, this is a, 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 if you chose this, you're a person who has been giving to a lot of different random areas. So you can't see, right? You can't see 
how big of a difference you make. Not that it even matters to you, because I don't feel like you're a person who gives to gain. You give from a good place. But over time, if you're seeing, again, the empty, the half empty bucket, or if you're seeing just bits and pieces and not the bigger picture, because everything that you give is large, but it covers a wide range, you would only be able to see the tiny pieces and you'll start to feel insignificant. Yep, we have the warrior here. So this is a person who is a fighter, an advocate, very, very, very strong. The person that everyone else can go to. I am seeing five, the, the number five and one, it's at the top of this card. I'm seeing it being subtracted back into the number four. And this is you taking a back, taking a step back into security, leaning back into your security and purpose. I'm going to tilt the screen up so that you can see the baby chickens and the baby chicks. They're growing so fast. Um, so, yeah, I feel like um, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're solo dolo, I feel that you should be leaning, you should be reconnecting and harmonizing deeper with your angels and your guides and calling out to them and asking them for help. So let's say, I've been doing this actually, I, I actually forgot to do this. And this is what happens when you ascend, you know, you sometimes... You, you're so called into these d deeper purposes of magic or giving or being of service in some way, and you, you, you're capable, and you're just stretching your gifts, and you're extending your gifts, and you're extending a helping hand. You're working your magic or whatever the case is, and you're, you just that becomes a part of your daily routine, and that becomes a, day, a part of the process that you forget you know, to ask for help or to you're, you automatically – your, your brain gets wired into, okay, I've got to do this. I've got to take care of this. And spirit's like, yeah, don't neglect your angelic helping hands. Don't neglect your angelic helping hands, right? We are here to help you too. We are also going to open up doors for you faster than you can open up for yourself. And yes, you're capable of doing some things, but also, you know, you're being guided to not just work the magic, but have magic worked for you. Wow, peaceful resolution. Interesting that that one jumped out. You are ready. And when I hear that, I feel like you are ready to receive. Take action. Interesting. Some of you guys may be ready to start a new venture. Clearly, just ready to start a new venture. Some of you guys are closing out a toxic cycle within your life. Some of you guys are ready to stretch your muscles, you know, when it comes to, it could be spiritual muscles, it could be emotional muscles, mental muscles, physical muscles, where well, you're just ready. And after a period of feeling weak, feeling resistance, feeling a blockage, now it's like something's about to open up and something is about to show up, essentially, and you're just ready. You're here, you're ready. All right, let's see what else we have here. Look at that. Love yourself first. And it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. See, there's a lot. We had self-respect here as well. Self-respect and self-respect. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So I really feel like this is taking your reliance on spirit, taking your reliance on God, taking your reliance on your angelic team or Archangel Michael to the next level, like the next level of commitment, the next level of, you know, ascending in your, your, com your comfortability and your, how you lean on your partner, AKA your, your angelic team. This also might be, um, some of you guys might be really ready for a serious, committed, deeper, committed relationship. And that's, that's what I'm, that's what I feel too with peaceful resolution. Like, I don't know for some of you guys, of course, it could be five of swords energy where you might be fighting. There might've been fighting. And this is just spirit confirming that those tough times are, are nearing a close. But really what I'm seeing is that the outcome where you're headed, this next chapter in your life, the ultimate resolution, like the ultimate ending is going to be something very, very peaceful. And I don't see it as an ending as much as I see it as a new chapter, like this next, 
look at these little guys. They're just running up to the, the they're so tiny. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're just so cute. Yeah, so it's like this next this next major cycle within your life that you're entering into, that you're ready for, that you are stepping into, in order to have deeper, more meaningful, more healthy relationships and connections, you're going to want to pour into yourself first and then give to others, right? Oh my goodness. Look, take time for yourself and unity. This is so perfect, you guys. You're spiritually connected to everyone through God. Use a sacred bond to heal your family, friends, and yourself. And take time for yourself. Enjoy relaxa relaxation activities that nurture your soul. So the overarching theme, the overarching message here that is clearly coming through is that the more that you are tending to yourself and the more that you are pouring into yourself, the better, the healthier, the happier your relationships and you will be within any connection and I do believe some of you guys are very, very independent. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love that. I love that. I myself am very independent. But we are all here in order to connect and to serve and to help each other. And I believe that God is love, the divine is love, and we are here to do our best, to be our best when it comes to sharing that love and to connecting with that love deeper within ourselves and extending that to other to others. So we have to share that we're going to share and i feel like if you guys have been so accustomed to people taking advantage or a relationship being imbalanced or you don't feel like you have it in you to have healthy boundaries or you just don't have the tools the tips like you just don't know your spirit is saying that don't expect yourself to to fail again or fail when it comes to having healthier boundaries within relationships. Some of you guys really don't know if you're doing things right or if you're doing things wrong. Spirit is saying, the tip that I can give to you now is making sure that you, moving forward, are making sure that your cup, your bucket, is filled with water first before you start pouring it into the mouths of others, into the other plants, into all of these other things. Have you taken care of yourself first? And doing that is going to help your relationships, all relationships and all things. And, and, and even your relationship with the divine and even your spiritual journey, if you are pouring into yourself first. All right, let's go into the tarot. Some of you guys are feeling like you're fearful of this next chapter within your life because the last chapters were so tough and so... Like someone who could have been used and abused or they don't even want to share their gifts because they feel like they've been slighted, taken advantage of. They don't want to open their heart up because they're just like, I don't choose good partners or I don't want to have a fresh start with this person because they always let me down. So Spirit is saying that the only tip that you need right now is to have a the self-respect, the self-worth, the self-love in order to, again, make sure that you are good, that you are taken care of. If Let's say you're cooking for someone, you fix your plate first and you eat. If they don't eat, you're not worried about like chasing them down. Did you eat? Did you eat? Did you eat? Like, honey, just eat. Like, you eat your food. If they're hungry, they will eat. Don't, and then you get frustrated because you're like, well, I made this meal for us and I made this meal for you and I, I feel like my per my partner, my person is wearing themselves down with all the work that they're doing and they're not eating. That's their battle, battle, that's their chapter. And that's not your fight to fight. That's their fight to fight. So you made this amazing meal for the both of you guys and they'll get to it. But for right now, you you make your plate, you let them serve themselves. And when they're ready, you eat your food. And if you're not happy with any type of connection here, with anything that you're in union with, pray about it. <laughs> Give it to God. Lean on God and the angels for support so that they can show up, so that they can tend. Yeah, too much of you feels very scattered. Yep, Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups as the first card that came through. She is very much a giver, but she's, she and you know to be an equal giver and taker. All right, so yeah, we have some imbalance here with the Moon card reversed. 
we have the high priestess upright, we have the emperor, and we also have the ace of pentacles. So the ace of pentacles is the is what is to be given. So it could be money, it could be resources, it could be energy, it could be a meal, it could be a helping hand, it could be a hug, it could be a ring, a proposal, because we also have the um, wedding cards there. However, clearly, we have some fear, we have some self-sabotage, we have some barriers, some obstacles, um, and then the high priestess has to do with, actually, I will say, before I even say what I was going to say, the high priestess has a lot to do with, um, she has the closest relationship with the divine, right? She is, a, and she, the high priestess is married to spirit, is married to God, and she, she is just so in, in, intricately intertwined with her soulmate, a.k.a. spirit, the divine. She spends more time with spirit and more time serving her husband, a.k.a. spirit, than kind of like a priest, only this is the high priestess, right? So this is the time, again, that you go to your altar and you connect with spirit and you talk to spirit and you build that intimate connection with spirit and i guarantee you all those chests that were locked all those blockages that you can't find that treasure chest that you're looking for for yourself will be unlocked when you when you focus your time and intention on the protection of of of, of the divine and you have to have and you are going to create this is the tip you're going to create healthy boundaries around your intimate time with the divine with spirit that way they can unlock treasure chest for you the moon card is not about you looking for um you know ways to do it yourself ways to figure it out yourself ways to finagle it yourself because you're not meant to do that you're meant to rely on spirit at this moment in time okay yo i love that this was the start of the whoopsie what a very powerful start. Some of you guys are going to want to listen to the rest of the other cards. I don't know why. I'm not trying to like build up my YouTube channel or anything like that. That's, you guys know that's not the vibe. But I just really feel that for you. Oopsie. You're being watched by loving eyes. I feel like this is spirit watching you from a distance. And also allowing people to watch you from a distance instead of being so on hand. That's Nova, my love. Why do people knock? Don't knock on the door. I hate that. It's like, don't knock on the door. You hear my dog barking. Like, you want her to go crazy, so you knock on the door. I wish dog owners, people who weren't dog owners, maybe I should just put a sign out there. Like, don't knock on the door. Crabby. I just don't like that. All right, got that, fam. So, look at this. The first thing that stands out to me is this little, um, I forget what it's called, but I'm going to call it a cowrie shelf right now. So, we have, which is all about being receptive, it's all about feminine energy, it's all about boundaries. Some of you guys are stuck on some memories here of the past. We have some keys here, literally to the heart and love, what it is that you love. And these are the keys to the treasure chest. I believe that spirit. Oh, look, and then we have another key here, journey. So I believe that this is what spirit is trying to give to you if you're open and willing to talking to spirit about it. We have another key here. We have the rose. Let's see if we can... Clear this out. Move this here. Skadoosh. Do we like it like this? We sure do. All right. We have the star charm. The world charm. Infinity. We have a rune here. Eating health. Well, you know what? We have balance here. So we have ice cream. We have a pear. So you guys need to nip out some things, and what I feel like you're nipping out is you always helping everyone, always being the, the, the toolkit, <laughs> so to speak, like you're everyone's toolkit. Some of you guys are forgetting, you know, 
the beauty and the magic of life. There needs to be a lot of transformation here um, in that area where you're just overly giving. You're forgetting how much of a gift it is. Let's see. You're forgetting how much of a gift it is because you're you're starting to get depleted. You're you want to rebuild your faith back up again. You're really gonna want to rebuild your faith back up again. And the way to do that, look, you guys, you have the warrior again. The way to do that is by relying on spirit. Look, then you have the I will. So clearly you are a very determined individual. No one doubts that for a second. But I feel like this is like, instead of you being like things that you will do, like I will climb this mountain today. I think now it's like, I will go to spirit about this mountain that I'm facing today. Do you see how it kind of changed? Like the mountain is still there, but we're gonna, we're gonna approach it from a spiritual, look at this, protected. I feel like spirit wants to protect you a little more, but are you willing to receive that protection? Are you willing to receive that blessing? This is something that is not going to be taken away from you. Spirit has not left you. And I just feel like you're you're needing to... Look, we have so much fire here. <laughs> we have so much fire here. We have Aries, we have Sagittarius, and then we have Air Aquarius. So, yeah, it's just you, you're just so accustomed to doing things your way. You're, you're accustomed to doing things on your own independently. You're afraid that if you don't do it, everything's going to come crumbling down. We also have Capricorn here. So that level of stubbornness that I adore. Um, you're, you're really scared that if you don't do it, everything will come crumbling down. But listen to the song by Jimi Hendrix. Um, I think it's called Castles Made of Sand Will Fall Into the Sea Eventually. So have faith that... Look at that. We have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer just kind of leading the way for everybody else because of his uniqueness and his talents, but you can't just always be like you can, but dude, it's going to be too much. Yeah. Look, find the joy in the journey. Some of you guys are really losing your joy, your, your spark for life because you're just constantly leading the way you're leading the pack for others because they're incapable of doing it. Let them fucking struggle. All right. Let them struggle. Then we also have some twin flame energy here. So the more that you give to yourself, the more that you're ultimately going to be giving to your twin flame relationship. I love you guys. I freaking love you. We also have the letter F here. And then we also have the infinity sign. So again, pouring in gives back. It's like karma, right? A lot of like beautiful signs here. I will look into this rune for you. I'm not well versed in runes. If you guys know this rune, comment down below. If there's something that stands out to you about that rune, please let me know down in the comments. Also, if this um, message served you in any way, shape, or form, um, please give it a thumbs up. Also, your key word is spirit fills my toolbox. <laughs> I just love that. It sounds weird, but spirit fills my toolbox. <laughs> That's your keyword. Well, not your keyword, but it just acts as like spirit is giving you the tools in order for you to help yourself right now. So, and your tools could be anything. They could be like cooking utensils. They could be the tools that you need in order to have a healthy relationship. There's so many different tools, man. Spirit fills my toolbox. All right, I'm going to move on to the second reading. I'm super stoked. I can't wait to see what it's going to be. Um, thank you so much again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more, more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, fam. If you chose this second geode, hmm, this is your reading. I loved the first pile, dude. Loved it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, let's just start this. Start with this one. Become the true you. For those of you guys that don't know, we're starting with Oracle first, and then we're going to go into Tarot and Charmies. Trust. Huh. Separation. Unrequited love. You guys are about to click out. <laughs> I can just feel it. Don't, though. Stay with me. Don't leave. Okay. Unrequited love. Separation. Trust. Become the true you. Improving health is reversed. Romance. Wait. Oh, you know what I heard? Thou shalt not wait any longer. Interesting. 
listening was reversed. Look at that individuality, which is so funny because I was going to say something about that. This is your life's purpose and guarded and protected. So spirit is, well, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. And let me just pull this up so you can see the chickens kind of migrating past the window. Please ignore the snotty nose. That's from Nova. Um, always tapping her nose on the, on the glass. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing, Ooh, I'm hearing turn around every now and then I've got a little bit and I don't know the words and I need you now tonight. I can need you more than ever. Um, <laughs> once upon a time, I was falling in love. Now I'm effing falling apart. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so once, dun, 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 total eclipse. So yeah, I just feel, it's funny that that's the song that's coming through. I feel spirit is like, you are being disconnected from something right now, painfully. Or you have been disconnected from something. I am also seeing, this is really interesting, I'm seeing a mother and a child. Um, specifically, maybe even a mother and a son. This makes me sad. Um, separated from each other. It's something that is taken away from you that you're like, well, why? 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 And... I don't want to trivialize this at all. Um, spirit is saying it's not just mother and son. It's it's like you're being, you're definitely being separated from something that feels like nothing could ever stand between us. Nothing can ever stop this love, and it's like something something feels like it swooped in and just took it right out. Um, and it's a shock shock to your system, shock to your heart. Um, it's making you feel like God, I don't know why I'm hearing like God is not enough or love is not enough or something is not, it really is testing your patient, testing your faith. I have to be very, very careful with this pile because, um, it feels very fragile. You guys feel very fragile right now. There's a part of you that's very fragile. There's a something hit a wound. Something hit something within you that you're like, I'm never I don't I don't think I can ever bounce back from this. Like how does one bounce back from this? This is a totally different energy from the the pile that I just pile number 1. Spirit is saying well, tell me, Spirit, what are you trying to say? I do not want to put words in your mouth. Oh, damn. Spirit says, let me hold you. Let me hold you. Let me put you back together. Surrender into my arms once again, is what I'm hearing. Come back to me once again. Some of you guys are really relying. You might, I, and I, it's funny because I was telling the pile number one, I was like, you guys might need to listen to pile number two. But pile number two, there's a connection to pile number one. Um, so I would really guide you to listen to that. Um, they're very different messages, but I feel like you're meant to receive it. I really want to get into the charms too, like right away. Some of you feel like you something taken from you it just takes your passion, takes your faith, takes your hope, takes your love, takes your light, takes your blessings. You're just like, there's nothing left to give. There's nothing left for me. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. It's like you're fighting. This is this charm is really standing out to me. It's in the bag. It's this little teddy bear. It's like a teddy bear left behind on a train or a teddy bear left behind. Like a little bear. Like it's like driving on a highway and seeing a bear on the highway. And you're just like, whose is that? Like, who does that belong to? Like, it's just something just fucking tragic. It just feels very tragic. Spirit wants you. Your tip right now is to 
go to the divine for like big, big hugs, like big, big love, big, big restoring your heart. Some of you guys feel like you're just so pulled away from the world or you just can't show up for the world or you don't want to see the world or you don't want to try. You don't want to love again. I'll never, I'll, don't tell me what it's all about because I've been there and I'm glad I'm out. It's like someone who loved so great and then love great was lost. There's this message here of when you're being held by spirit, when you're being held by the divine, like something that's taken away from you, it's you can't replace it. Spirit is not trying to replace it. Spirit's not trying to take that away from you any further, like the memory, the the moments, nothing like that. Like, but they're saying like it's not. It's, I'm hearing like it's just a phone call away. Like you can talk to this love. Talk to this child, talk to this person by picking up the phone. And some of you guys are like, if this is someone who has passed on, this is your this is when you sit with spirit and you you say, I need to talk to my child, and you pray to them. And they literally do listen, but you feel like they're not listening. You feel like it's not the same. And I understand you. But this love doesn't to be is not gonna be taken from you. If this is not something as serious as losing a child, this is um, losing love or losing or wanting to connect with a, something or someone. It's like you're being forced to be by yourself. I, I'm seeing a lot <clears throat> looking at <clears throat> looking at these windows. It's like they're sitting in the same window, same space, the same room, maybe different person. It's like you're pulled away from something or someone some of you guys are being relocated so you're in new territory and you're you're away from your things that you love or familiarity spirit is also saying listen we can't replace that the love that was lost but we are going to show up for you in many different ways where you are going to be hugged like you are going to be hugged like People are going to genuinely love you. This is someone who's experienced some type of trauma and then they go into social work and they just help children and families. And that, that is so great. Like you change the fight, the family dynamic. And some of you guys are like, well, what about me? It's like, this is going to be a part of your, oh, look, this is going to be your purpose, your life's purpose, literally. I, for, I didn't even see that there because I was staring out. Um, but this is going to be a part of your purpose. This is really going to be a part of your purpose is helping really like lonely people, isolated people. This could be a psychologist. This could be a social worker. This could be a child care provider where you're just going to come in contact with with all different types of people who could really use, like, they're, they're going to remember you for the rest of their lives. I was a YMCA kid, right? I grew up in, like, going to YMCA programs and stuff, before and after school programs. And I remember almost, almost all of my um, counselors... Be, and I would like show up every morning and I would just give them the biggest hug. I remember the uh, conversations that we've had. I remember, I remember all of that as if they were my family. They had the biggest impact on my life. In fact, I ended up later on working for the YMCA. Look at that. There's a rainbow right there. That's a sign for someone. I ended up working for the YMCA because I was so impacted by being a YMCA kid and You know, or our club, there's a spot called our club when I was, cause we moved a lot, but the YMCA was always my, was always a spot like <laughs> before and after school, you know, some of you guys, you feel really bad about separating from a child. Like if you have to go to work and then you're going to put them in them before and they're going to be, your children are going to be very, very happy there, honey. Trust me. They're going to be very, very happy there. They're just going to be little individuals and you got to do what you got to do and 
everybody is being guarded and protected. Everybody is in good hands, yourself included. Anybody that you love, anything that you've lost is in good hands. It's definitely being protected right now. I, I need to look at the charms. Like, I need to. Jesus. Do you see this? What's the first thing you see there, guys? For me, it's protected and protected twice, both on each end. You are being protected. Your children are being protected. Your heart is being protected. Everything is being protected. Something came in as a shock. Look at this. We have things whining together. I don't know these runes. I'm not the rune master. I just love them. But I, I'm not the master of them. So I will... Let's see. I will take a photo and I will return back. But if you guys know these runes... Please um, let me know. Let us know in the comments. Look, someone is holding someone in a locket in their heart. Yeah, this is like a memory or past love or something. Look, guys, see? It takes a big heart to teach little minds. Like, you are going to be, your purpose is going to be teaching other people. This is this fighter spirit. Like, literally fight. I'm seeing a lot of connections to Paris here. Look, forever. Protected forever. Forever love. Love that's not going to go anywhere. Love that never escapes you. Love that it always inspire. You're going to inspire other people. Family. See? Like, I just, I'm, I'm on it. Look, we have <clears throat> Mother Mary who literally sacrificed her son. Wow. You might see butterflies as a sign. You just need to know that you're being protected. You see them in dreams. You have the miracle charm here. Wishing on a star, talking to God, well, talking to angels. Or I was, you know what I was doing the other day? This was literally last night. It's funny. I was sitting outside. It was late at night. It must have been like 3 o'clock in the morning. And... That's not abnormal for me, guys. I, I stay up pretty late. Either I'm working oils or work doing candle magic or something. But I was standing outside and I was kind of just sitting looking at the stars. And I was just like, I remember hearing a conversation. Someone saying, like, those who have <clears throat> departed on, you know, what if they are, what if their souls are the stars in the sky, like the universe? And I first I was like, ha! <laughs> I'm as, as spiritual as I am and as deep as my spiritual beliefs are, I'm the most skeptical, critical motherfucker out there. Like, I really am. And I will. And if I believe in something, it's because I've tested it. <clears throat> Some of you guys are really looking at the stars and you're like, dude, you have protected a third time. A third time. Someone's definitely going on a trip. We definitely have children here and we have family twice. So, someone's going on a trip here. Something has to do with a child or children. Things working their way out. Things working their way together. We have the, in the letter L. We have princess. Look, make a wish, make a wish. Yeah. All right. This is a heavier reading, and that's, that's totally fine. I just want to give you guys a big hug. But that was ultimately the, the message from Spirit was we want to give you a big old hug. Something is deeply in the works here for you as far as your purpose, your destiny, and making sure, look, Eight of Wands is going to be quick. It's going to be coming with a quickness. What is it? of pentacles it's like I, I just heard someone knock on the door like not really but you guys know how i feel about someone knocking on the door <laughs> um the lovers this is definitely a soulmate king of swords this is a very protective person. This person is going to fight for you. Or this is you. You're going to fight. You are not to be fucked with. The really, truly. You're just not, not, not the one. 
yeah, five of cups. They're there because they want to, this could be someone who has passed on or this is someone who's the soul. It's like the soul of the departed is coming back in some other form. So you're going to, you're going to have some lover or something that you love come back and mirror what was lost. Only this, not that it's going to be better, but it's going to make you feel so connected and make you feel like a deeper bond that extends beyond physical limitations of us being humans. It's going to be very, very spiritual. It's going to be very, very in-depth. Talk to me one more time. Some of you guys, if this is not a loss of a son or a loss of a child, yeah, Knight of Cups, this is someone who is separation. This has something to do with separation in a relationship, and the relationship is being protected by the divine and the relationship is being protected the family is going to be protected you're meant to have a family with this person but you have to wait you have to be patient while each of you individually develop yourself and when the time comes those gears are going to turn <coughs> and you're going to get um you're going to come back together with them 100 percent um i think that you guys are both this is a part of the journey this is part of the process of you um you know, separating individually so that you can focus on, again, your, your your deeper purpose right now. And when this person shows up, it's going to be your responsibility. Your tip is just to listen, right? Your tip is just to listen. And don't give up on love. Don't go give up on how love can extend, how love can show up. That's going to be your tip. Okay, Spirit, speak to us through this last... If this person, if this is someone that you separated from, they've got a lot to say, a whole lot to say, a lot of things that they were holding on to. Yeah, they chose you. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. Again, so we have individuality, we have become the true you, and we have enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. There's no one like you. I'm hearing, um, never mind, I'll find someone like you by Adele. But really, it's like I'm not going to find someone like you. We have create space for new love and time for a love fest. So if it like genuinely what I'm feeling is you're about to attract a deep, deep love or a deep, deep connection that extends beyond the normal superficial relationships that we can experience here on Earth. I'm getting a really strong connection to the stars, to souls, like soulmate, karma, like divine, like all this, all of this. And I now that I'm saying that, like, it came after a great love that felt that was lost. It had to come after a love that was lost. I, I mean that. And it just makes sense. It somehow adds some, the, the pain that you're feeling gives so deep. Create space for new love, maybe, you know, but I'm really, like, as far as, like, new love, new love, like a new person, true, but I feel like this is just a deeper type of love, like a new type of love that you've never felt before, a deeper type of connection that you never felt before. If it's with someone from the past, they've evolved. They've become, you know, a higher version of themselves. Believe it or not, some of you guys would doubt that, but they've gone through a lot. If this is new love, this is something unlike anything you've ever experienced. Truly, truly. All right. Um, I freaking love you guys. I really do. I hope this message makes sense. I know that it started a little heavy, but it needed to serve those who it needed to serve, first and foremost. Um, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you find this helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you. There's plenty more videos where this came from. And, of course, I'll see you in my next one. I'm going to move on to pile number Three. All right, my loves, if you chose pile number three or this geode, this is your reading. I'm getting a lot of excitement. <laughs> oh, man, from this pile. All right, so as I said in the very beginning, we're going to start with Oracle first. Then we're going to do Tarot and then Charms, all right? So... First card, go forward fearlessly. So as soon as I said that, I, I heard someone say, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Pay attention to your dreams. I don't know why. So I'm getting a like a little like second guessing someone pushes back a little bit. I'm hearing last night I took an L, but tonight I bounced back so funny 
that song. New beginnings and a fresh start. You guys, okay, I'm going to stop right there. I Every card that I pull, I'm getting some level of resistance from this group. You are doubting. <laughs> You're like, are you sure? I need to see the signs. I need to see it. Like, no, Jess, I need it to be clear. It's like, let me finish. Like this, this pile is, you're doubting. You have a lot of doubt around you. You have a lot of resistance. You are losing, you've lost faith in something. You don't feel like you're in good hands anymore. You feel like you, you're, it's, there's one thing to be, need logical explanations. Explanation, like a logical, like, okay, yeah, I can trust it. And then there's another thing to just overly rely on logical like evidence that you just you kind of kill the magic or you i'm seeing someone like throw water on a fire it just kind of like i don't know why that is we'll we'll carry on but every time i pull a card I'm, i i get the sense of mm, i don't believe it i don't believe it i don't believe that i'll believe it when i see it no type of vibe hope literally hope <laughs> Yes, yeah, spirit is reading you for the filth. Rigid, see? This is you. This is literally you. And then we have no, see? This is you. <laughs> no, look, it's another no. How is it even possible? What is this one? Trust. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this pal needs to click out and just go for a walk real quick. It's so funny. And just come back. Oh, wait. Look, it's safe for you to love. This pile is so resistant to me. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I don't believe it. I believe it when I say it. <laughs> Shield yourself and you are healed in the name of Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I can feel your energy. I can't make this shit up. All right. I'm going to tell you this and you're going to choose to believe me or not. I, it's not my job to convince anyone of or anything. Okay. Literally, it's not my job. I, that's not my intention ever. I know I come on here and I share my visions and my prophecies and whatever, like every week. And then sometimes more than that. And I don't, I don't, this is going to sound harsh. Maybe it's my Virgo, but I don't care if you believe it or not. You know, like it's not going to, you know, it, that's a part of your path. So it's not that I don't care. It's just like, I'm not going to jump through hoops in order to convince you of something that spirit is telling me. You either choose to believe it or you choose to discard it. Okay. I'm saying that because I'm going to tell you more of what I'm thinking, seeing and feeling, and you are going to fight it. It's what comes with the territory. As I said that, we had a female, my, my hand Penelope just charged a cobweb. Cobweb is right there. So, and the thing is like, she doesn't have anything to be defensive over that I know of. She doesn't have any chicks right now. She's, maybe that's what it is. It's something that she doesn't have makes her defensive, makes her want to fight, makes her want to attack. Cobweb wasn't doing anything. He was just literally standing there and she just out of nowhere came through, came out the woodwork and just freaking attacked him. And as I'm saying that, here comes Genevieve with her babies and she's actually, I've never really seen her attack. She's more of a, she more so guards, like pulls them away, right? Pulls the babies away. The reason why I'm saying that is because your energy is guarded and it's very attacky. It feels like as, even as I was shuffling the cards, I'm, it's like I pull a card and there's instant like, no, it's like, it's almost kind of, forgive me for saying this, it's almost kind of rude. Like, I, you have to ask yourself, and maybe it's because you're coming from a hurt place. Maybe there's an empty ache. Maybe there's a, a part of you that's just like, I don't want to try. Like, I don't want, I don't want to believe. I don't have hope. And I, I hear you. I, and as I said, I hear you. I heard, I forgive you. So even spirit right now, the divine says, I forgive you for losing hope and faith in, in me. I forgive you for losing hope and faith within yourself. I forgive you for losing hope and faith in the paths, in the path. 
And spirit is extending this level of forgiveness to you in the fact that you may feel burned out. You may feel distraught. You may feel defeated. You may feel like you want to like fight. A person doesn't feel this way for no reason. It's going to be up to you to decide, do you choose to trust again? Do you choose to have hope and faith and lower your guard down? Look, it literally says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of you guys are like, no, (laughs) no, 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 no. I get it. I want to tell you that your energy, I think, and this is, this is what I'm going to do for this pile. I'm going to let you choose what to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Okay. But I want to tell you so that you know, your energy right now is totally 1000% resistant. If you chose this geode and spirit clearly gets it, but if you chose this, just this geode, you, your energy right now is totally resistant on what this new beginning, this fresh start. Some of you guys are looking for, you're looking past, you're looking, you're looking into the past. You're looking at things that don't concern you anymore. You're looking at, you're looking at things from an old, like a broken set of glasses. I'm seeing an older gentleman. I'm going to call him an older gentleman. He reminds me of my grandfather who's sitting there with broken glasses on his face. And it's like, you know, grandpa, so-and-so, like, we should really replace those glasses and get you some new ones. And he's like, no, these ones work just fine. When I tell you these glasses that I'm looking at right now, they have a thick film over them. Like, the fact that he believes that he can see through these glasses and they're crooked and they hurt. <laughs> it's like, you rigid, you're, you're so rigid. Take those glasses off and let us, no, no, these ones work just fine. It's like, you have to ask yourself, why am I holding on to these broken, dirty? And it's like, if I was to take the glasses and clean them, there would still be this thick film because that's how old and and broke up these glasses are. But you don't have the flexibility right now, the openness in order to even take off those glasses and it's like you don't want to give them to someone else so that they can give you you're like this works just fine it's not working like it's you you're not why like you have to ask yourself why some of you guys spirit has done a lot they're saying like we've put in remarkable work in order to help you in order to heal the situation right so maybe it's not you maybe it's to heal the situation around you and you're you don't you're not going to get you don't want to get up and move you want to just sit and you want to wait and you want to look back and you want to ponder and you want to fight and you want to resist instead of getting up from that rocking chair switching out your glasses taking a shower believing again putting yourself out there again and going back into a new venture a new somewhat some of you guys you are in a home that you've you've worked really hard. It's like, I want to share this story with you, but I don't want to because my family would be so upset. But it's really relatable. And I've been, every week I've been coming on here, the last, last three videos, last two videos I shared a story. I want to share this with you, but I, I can't do it. I want to say, don't be that person who just sits in the same stagnant broke bad situation because it's what they worked for it's what it's where life took them spirit has has healed the situation spirit is trying to heal you but you can only that can only happen if you're open some of you this shield yourself it's one thing to protect yourself and there's one thing to wall yourself in what are you going to choose like i i'm just going to allow you to be aware you know, and then you can choose, you can choose what you decide to do. But I do want to say that this card, it is safe for you to love is here. So if you decided to go forward fearlessly, (laughs) it feels like there would be a new beginning and a fresh start that has to do with something that feels like true love. Right. And we're talking about true love, but this could be something just totally remarkable. 
I don't know why I see this is the top of someone's forehead. And like this angel just trying to activate the crown chakra and dance on top of the crown chakra. So you might get some tickles in your third eye and your crown chakra that you're just like, you just keep swatting away like it's a fly or a gnat. And you're just like sitting there on the porch with your clouded over glasses just being like, This this is enough. Like you you're saying like this is enough. Like you old man. Your energy right now is giving me old rigid man. Just sitting there. Like some of you guys have bad bad habits that you're just like you just keep you have a glass full with whiskey and it's just like you know that's not good for you. <laughs> you know it's not good for you, but you just you're like you're like gruff. The energy is gruff. You don't you just kind of you you bark at people, you 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 bark at I'm just I'm just keeping it real, please. I'm just keeping it real with you. Something about you is is very you, the spirit just wants you to be aware. <clears throat> if there was a tip that they were gonna give you, it's to have hope, embrace the beauty of a fresh start, and anything that stops you from starting over fresh and anything that stops you from lifting your yourself up off this rocking chair and taking off these I, some of you guys have never even like experienced these glasses before but they're like scratched there i've seen them i've literally seen them i can see it in my eyes right now it's like something that you're just like you just keep doing and you're just like i'm no i'm not going i'm not doing this i'm not You keep looking back. You keep looking at the past. And that's the thing. You have the Six of Cups here. Looking towards the past. Oh, my God. Look at the King of Pentacles. Like, you lurking. Five of Swords. Hierophant. This is being stuck in your ways. Adamant is the word. Stuck in your ways. Refusing to get up. It's like the routine, the way things have been done, <clears throat> the way things, it's like you, if you, okay, this is like someone who's in school and they've, they're so used to studying and they're so used to their routine and then they graduate from college and they're like, they don't know how to start a job or work in a job because all they know how to do is study. And it's like, but you studied for this, you were, you were learning how to do this and now that you've. Now you're just stuck in college mindset. And it's just like, get up from your desk. This is someone who's like, you know, stuck in, you, you say that you're a spiritual person. You, and it's like, you read your Bible every day, but you don't talk to God. Or you, you read your Bible and you go to church every Sunday, but you feel an absence of God. You've never heard God speak to you. And it's like, that's because you're not talking to God. You're doing all the study work, but you're not having the conversation. You're not feeling you know, having the intimate relationship. This is someone who um, is stuck in their ways in a relationship and it's like, this is the way that we've always done it. And it's just like, okay, yeah, your partner's not going anywhere. They're king of pentacles. But it's like you're stuck in this old way of, of doing things. You're stuck in this old... This is like a person who's been stuck in, you know, as, as being single and they just have become so accustomed to their way that they like they go on a date and they're just like waiting to go back home and you know put, you know put back on their tv show and it's like you you want love like you want a fresh start you want something nice you want like a true romance you want like a true connection but you're spending so much time shielding yourself and saying no to new energy that like it's like it's time to bring it into action King of Pentacles is here upright, surprisingly, and this showed up before too. This is earth energy, so it's very, very, I'm an earth energy, and I, I don't even like, I don't like change myself. I The fact that I started well, off with the oracle first in, instead of the tarot was just like, ooh, like, like, girl, are you serious? Like, yes, I'm serious. Yes, I'm fucking serious. This is someone who, like, has the same thing for breakfast every morning, does the same workout routine every day and they wonder why they're not getting results. Change it up! And they're just like, no. 
Knight of Swords is like, there's a, the curiosity, Knight of Swords reverse is like the curious cat in you is just got hit, like hit by a car. Like it's time to be curious again. It's time to ask questions. It's time to assume that you don't know everything. It's time for you to try things differently and not be so rigid and set in your ways. Hierophant. All right. What charms do we have here? This is like a marriage or relationship that you're staying in that you don't like. You're not happy, but you're just like, yeah, we're a successful marriage. Like, yeah. Are you? Yeah, you guys are successfully staying together, but like at what cost? Just seems a little crazy, you know? Yeah, this is something that you hurt yourself with that hurts you. But it looks good, but it like hurts. The ballerina. This is the hard work, the determination, the balance, the grace. But it's just like, it just feels kind of toxic. We've got some popcorn. We've got some ice creams. We got some vitamin C. Look at this little true love angel here, Cupid. I should do a love reading next. I'll pick a card. Yeah, live your dream. It's like someone who reads about reads about things in the picture books but never goes and goes on that trip or books that flight. Yeah, we have a dolphin here that just wants to be playful. What is this? Okay, Starbucks. A little coffee action for those of you guys that are drinking coffee. We have Sagittarius who wants to explore. We got Taurus Energy who's stubborn. Stubborn. Aries again. We have Cancer. We have a star that says, just for you. We have the Lotus that wants to come up from the muck. Yeah, I said Grace. This is the ballerina. Dream. Yeah, pay attention to your dreams, you guys. Big time. What is this? A kib? A kibble? This is somehow Franklin's dog kibble is in here. Um... Yeah, we have a shell. <laughs> a stubborn ass shell. You know what I'm noticing? There's a lot of like small charms here, like really small. They're just like taking up space. I just want to flick them out. Pew. But the biggest thing that I've never seen before that's here is this frog, which is all about transformation, taking a risk, putting yourself out there, calling out, doing something different, evolving. And then we have the star card here i just want all these little small things to just oh, well there they go <laughs> all right these are your runes yo i i love this pile <laughs> i think this is honestly <laughs> i think this is honestly my favorite pile of all the groups this one starbucks is that light under your well the coffee cup I'm not going to say Starbucks, but it does look like a Starbucks cough, like cup. Starbucks is, well, the coffee cup is that little pep in your step that you need to get your day started, right? To just get you out of that funk. <laughs> you might not know now, but she will. So some of you guys are just like, I need proof, Jess. I just need it. No, 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 no. I think a little bit more of you guys are a little bit more open. But you might not know now, but you will. This is confirmation that you're not going to be able to see. You know, that's what hope is about. It's about looking out into the dark, looking out into the stars and being like, I can hope for something. And Spirit's like, I've already answered your prayer. Hubba hubba. So that means it's like something that is really, really awesome is out there. Some nice action, some nice attraction. Okay, see me in their eyes. Oh, man. Okay. Whenever conferring with another, either face-to-face -face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit, or sentient tree, always speak to the highest within them. It makes such a difference. Amen. The universe. Yeah, as if some trees weren't sentient. Glad you caught that. So, 
I feel like you're not going to be able, you're, you're speaking out into the abyss. You're speaking out in the hopes that something is going to hear you and you are being heard. You're speaking out into your future in the hopes that you'll, you'll make it there. You know, you'll, you're speaking out into something you're, but have hope, dwell on what you love. Emphasis on the word dwell. What are you currently stabilized in? right? Especially with all this Taurus energy, what are you currently sitting in? Is it helping you or hurting you? Five of swords can really hurt you if you stay in a space too long and you're too stubborn to ask questions and venture into the unknown. One more card, please. This one. Most people are just trying to survive. Don't be that person where you just stay in status quo and you don't, and you say no to true love, and you say no to true, like, adventure and new things just because you're stuck in a survival mode. You might not know all the great things that are out there, but you will if you decide to get up from the space that is at your dwelling and, and explore. All right, my loves, I hope this reading makes sense. That's your tip from the universe or from your angels and your guides. I hope it resonates with you. I'm sending you all of my love. For those of you guys that pick pile number three, you're my favorite. I understand you. Here comes my chickens now with her babies. Try not to be defensive and attack people randomly because you're hurting or because you're frustrated or because you're so stuck in your ways that you can't be flexible. All right, you choose, you choose. Everybody has the right to choose. So what are you gonna choose today? I'm sending you all my love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.